Hey guys, Michael here from Engel. Mark is here, and you're watching Loud TV. I mean, I mean it, there was a, I, I guess, maybe it was meant to be in some way, I don't know, he didn't... I mean, know. maybe he wasn't satisfied with no. some stuff, it was just... That's just how it went down. Yeah, I mean, I mean sometimes it, it changes, I mean, the, the, the priorities and, and yeah. how you see things and what you want to do and stuff like that. He wanted to... You notice that, those things pretty clearly, when people are... Um, their energy and they're like you, you sense it st straight away. At least I do. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's if very a, easy. If a person is not 100% on board, then yeah, no. you, you see. It. And everybody needs to be 100% focused, of course. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. The, the, the the ship will go exactly. down. Exactly. There's oh. also a new drummer. Oscar I mean, the drummer. <laughs> we almost swapped out half of the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Now um, we have a new drummer as well, Oscar. He's uh, the, the, uh, the rock behind the drums. Yeah. Uh, since when when uh, Jimmy decided to leave, uh, we kind of thought, like, "Wow, what are we gonna do now?" It's just finding a new drummer is not the easiest thing to do, especially not in Gothenburg or <laughs> places. Like right before recording? Exactly, well. and it was just so. about to, like, like everything was basically done for the, for the album. Yeah. And uh, we were lucky enough to, uh, to hunt this guy down. I, 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 uh, I asked some people, which, which uh, Joseph. Led, led, led us to Oscar. Yeah. Which was really good, and uh, he was super into it from the from the beginning. He, I, I, I told him that, and well, you basically have a month and a half <laughs> to learn the songs and to get into the groove, and then it's it's, it's album time. <laughs> and he was like from the beginning, he was like, yeah, sure, absolutely, I'll. That's I'll crazy just little do time. It. I, I mean, I mean, that was an just, album, but he pulled it off. Yeah, I mean, he, he really did talented. a super super good job, and he actually put his. It's always interesting because everybody kind of bring their stuff to the whole thing. I mean, my, with Michael's vocals, it's, it's, a, it's a different color. The colors, the song's different. And same with the drums as well. Oscar plays a lot different than Jimmy, which color, colors the songs in a totally different way. And uh, I would say maybe suits, suits the new songs better. Yeah, they take a hold on its own direction. Just yeah, it can take a hold. It's pretty and cool. It's nice, and, and uh, I'm super happy with how it is now. He, he brought a lot of new energy to the band, and I guess you can hear it on the album as well. It's just you get kind of like psyched. He's so calm, so you get yeah. Yeah, and he yeah. calms us down and makes us more pumped. I think exactly, and and uh, I guess you can, you can hear it when we actually yeah. that we actually enjoy what we more laid do. back. I would say. Yeah. It's always been like like this. Nicholas, uh, Nicholas is, is, is always the main songwriter. He he comes up with the idea. He usually demos that idea and uh, shows shows the rest of the band. This is this is what I'm thinking and stuff. And usually he just have a, like a, like a skeleton of a song. But of course he has ideas in his head about uh, keyboards and stuff and how he wants things to, to, uh, to be. Um, well, we, we basically take that idea and, and maybe twist and turn it a little bit and uh, it, it can change a little bit, change in directions. 
depending on how long it goes. And from some some songs in this album, it's been with us for a year. And yeah, sometimes you go you go back exactly, like, and, and, and then you riffs. take take a few twists and turns and, and tweak it a little bit. But yeah. it was fun working with the vocals with Nicholas and also with you, of course. But it was pretty much send send me the songs and I. Uh, Recorded them at my home, uh, most, mostly, and then I just sent it back. It was pretty straightforward, like, do you like it or not? P pretty yeah. much kind of a thing, like, do you like it? No? Okay, change it, fine, <laughs> I'll change it, try to yeah, come up exactly. with new stuff. And that's also how I learned to write vocals for the, as a singer in Engel as well. The biggest challenge for me to try to incorporate um, Magnus stuff and also yeah, make it my own, of course. To start we, off, we have this album to kick us off. And I, I, I think mean, it's going to be a great help for us. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, since since the last album, we've been kind of, I don't know, I shouldn't say non-existent, but we we, we did not do much at all. We did yeah. one European tour, and then kind of that's it. it. Kind of felt like that going into the band as well. There was pretty much nothing going on. Exactly. We had to start was, over. Yeah, exactly. So and I so, think it's good as well. To start over with all the members. This here. this feels like a, like a like a fresh start. Almost, I, yeah. I'm, I'm almost like a new band. It's just uh, pretty much. Yeah, it's a different direction of the songs. It's a, it's a new sound. It's a relaunch. <laughs> so so I, I would say. It kind of feels like the first album, but but but. First album with a band that has a fan base or something like that. I don't know. It's just weird, but but I. To make it, I don't know. So to discern more, just get, yeah, can, can get out there and play, play kind more, of more tours. I mean, I we just need to good. now. We just need to to push it. Yeah. And we we know them for, for quite some time, and and it's good to have a a, a close relationship. To the to the to the label, yeah. you can actually you talk can to them anytime. Meet up, <laughs> exactly, and talk to them anytime, and 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 they work really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They work their asses off to, for to push this, and um, yeah, really, it's it's really good. And of course, we work as hard. As we I mean, can if as we well. have to work our asses off, then it means that they have already done it. You know, to fill it up. Yeah, exactly, exactly, and and, and all these things going on. So uh, I think that's the best. Um, best uh, thing for Engel right now to, to be on, on, on a label like that yeah. that can actually that have the motivation of pushing it they're ties in with, with Sony which is good for distribution and all that so, yeah. so I, I, I'm, I'm more than happy to be on, on, on that label Sir, Mr. Hansen. Exactly, Sir Jacob. <laughs> I mean, I was totally he's, insane. It was the best mixer a, that, that I ever heard, actually. I mean, it's just that uh, he's it's crazy. He, he knew from the start what we were looking for without yeah. me even. He nailed it like straight away. Uh, I, yeah, it was just crazy. He asked like, like, so what do you want? And so good. I was saying like, like, okay, maybe I want this and this. Yeah. He, he was just saying like, that's exactly what I thought already. So he kind of knew from the beginning. It was it was weird. He just like it was like he knew what we wanted without even saying it. It was just like okay, perfect. Yeah. So and that was it was. I, it's so cool to if you listen to the to the raw sound how how it ended up with like the drums and he made it he fine tuned it extremely. I mean the the what do you call it original. The, rec the, 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 the original recording. recordings was yeah. really good as well. It was, you could make anything you wanted out of it, maybe. Yeah. But he uh, he perfected it. But as soon as I heard the uh, the first mix of Jacob, I was like, okay, this is, yeah. this is exactly what I was looking for. So uh, <laughs> he's just the master. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I wrote all the lyrics and the, the guys read them and they kind of like bind it, binded it all together with the uh, apocalyptic feel. Yeah, we kind of, it's a weird thing that we, when we read through all the lyrics, um, we, we got this 
feeling of like the uh, apocalyptic feeling. Yeah. And it, it was not the weird thing. It was an intentional from you from the beginning, I guess. No. Not like not, really. not like that in that sense. I always tr try to write from that standpoint or point of view. I don't know, but it's it's like it's so individual. Uh, apocalypse can be like person having a hard time. You know, you can. I don't know, you can look at it in so many different ways, I, I mean, think. It tied in with, it tied in very good with the sound of the album, because the sound is it's a lot darker sound than, than yeah, yeah, yeah. before. It's a darker, darker twist, which ties in really good with, uh, with the vibe of the yeah. lyrics. Maybe, like <laughs> Maybe I'm just a dark person, I don't know. <laughs> I some know. songs are like some songs are fictional and some songs are. What are you hiding in there, Michael? <laughs> exactly, a dark little raven that wants to get out. <laughs>